but I feel this one does too, which is really weird. So obviously you, you talked about from your the, the book we're looking at on your particular episodes, the, the three phases of life, and you referenced this a few weeks ago as well, um, I know. Um, and there's a thing, I've, I've signposted this in some previous episodes, but there's a thing that really bends my mind around time. Um, so I just wanted to kind of, this would either be a, fo- a five minute conversation or a 30 minute conversation. We'll see where we get to with it. But there's a definite thing that as you get older, time gets quicker. Or as you're younger, maybe time's slower. So I'm at an age, Joe's 20 years older than me. So he probably feels this more than I do. Um, I mean, I'm 40. Joe is, are you 50, 51? Yeah. Which one of those are you? I need to get it right. 51. There we go. See, look at me. I kind of know. You can tell really by the good. confidence in my voice. as I, I don't know what you're, how, how old you are. It must be 21 or something. That's it. 22, actually, Joe. 22. I am 40. But for reference of where we are, and it's a definite year is just, a year is nothing now. If I plan to do something in a year's time, uh, professionally or personally or whatever else, or 18 months, I mean, I've got some plans we're working on for various things at home that have, it's like stuff planned out for the next two years. But actually, that's going to go like that. When I was 21, two years, even a year would be an eternity. And even silly things that like if you'd sign up for something on the TV and it's going to be a year's contract, it's like, oh, my God, that's forever. Or if it's something where you've got something cheap for a year, you're like, whoa, I am sorted for life now. Whereas now, if I've got something that was a deal for a year, I'm already planning what I'm going to do after that because that just goes in a flash. And that was me in both those occasions. But my perception, and that's what it is, because the time, time, well, I'm going to say time is time, but maybe that's part of the conversation. But my perception and my reality around those two things is very, very, very different. Um, And I, in fact, talked about it a few episodes ago. Me and Joe talked about this off air. Um, I referenced some other podcasts I listened to a few episodes ago. And the the hosts on that are either older or similar age to myself. And and they've talked about this thing as well, which kind of put it in my mind. But it is the passing of time. And I, as an example, I've got a picture on my phone, my kids, which is probably four years old now. And to me, that's them. They kind of still look the same. Um, And it's fairly recent. You know what it's like. You put it on, you you leave it on the phone for years. And they looked at it and they went, oh my God, that's so old. You need an up-to-date picture. And I'm, because to them, they've just turned 13. At the time they were 12 when they said this four years of a third of their life wow. so yeah. that's a long time and i think that's yeah. the i don't know if that's the biggest thing in all of this is it's relative to your own experience so like when you're 20 and something's going to happen in five years time that's a quarter of your life when you're 40 yeah. and something's going to happen in five years time that's an eighth of your life it's not quite as long you've lived more and i don't know if the the kind of the longer experience you've got it actually speeds up the time because it's less significant to you. And for me, you know, I'm, I know we talked about this, but relatively speaking, five years ago, I can remember what was going on and I can probably plan out what I want to do for the next five years. Five to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20. They, I might as well have been different people at each of those ages. And it's a, yeah. there's a maturity bit that comes with it. And it's, and I don't know what, what it is exactly that sits with it, but it just, it fascinates me and I want to talk a little bit about that concept and then the bit that's more of the thought experiment is if that's a reality if that's how we perceive time if that's how it works for us as a species is there anything in there that once we're conscious of it we can use that to kind of we can harness that in any way but first the concept we'll get onto that secondly first the concept I don't know what you think about that if you have thought about that 